Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week I thought I'd do a really, really quick video on Paper 2 Dips, and I thought this would be a really useful video to round off the GCSE series we've been doing on this channel, and a way to give you guys a bit of a boost before you finish your GCSEs forever, and move on to summer and then A-levels. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first step I have for you guys is that Paper 2 is a completely new and separate paper from Paper 1, and that's kind of common sense, but for anyone who's feeling really low or like they haven't done as well on their Paper 1s, don't worry, you still have time until your Paper 2s for some subjects where you can gain back in control of your grade and make sure that you get on even footing. For example, biology, you have two 100 mark papers, total out of 200, that's 50% per each paper. Having that weighting, you'll be able to control your grade if you know that you didn't do as well in paper one and instead revise much harder for paper two in the few days you have left, recap some topics that you weren't really sure on, and then make sure that paper two goes super, super well so that you get that overall really good grade. And tip number two, this is something you can do in the few days until your next paper. Sometimes the gaps between them are too small, so it's kind of hard to, but let's say there's a wider gap between physics paper one and paper two. I'm not really sure there is, but if there is, you'll be able to revise more so for physics throughout the gap. You have the time left until paper two to go through, rectify your mistakes, go through any things that you feel like were your weaknesses. Was it exam technique? Was it timing? Was it wording? Was it reading the question? Did all these doubts that you have in your head, you can now rectify in your paper twos and make sure you don't do similar mistakes. So for example, if you want to do better in paper two, you might end up doing more practice questions. So you get a hang of a certain type of maths that came up and that you weren't really sure about in let's say a science paper. Or if you're struggling in let's say trigonometry and it's also something that's going to come up in another paper, then you know that's an area you're going to focus on until the next paper actually happens. So this is kind of hard to do when there's so many other papers happening simultaneously, but if you can do it, and if you want to spend the time to make sure that you get a top grade in that and then overall in the subject, this is something that you should definitely try and do at least for the subjects you have left. My third tip for you guys in this super quick video, which I'm sorry about, but also that's kind of good for you guys because you need to get on and do other stuff. But basically, good luck for your GCSEs, good luck for the subjects that are already finished and that you've completed the papers for, and good luck for the subjects that are left. And just remember, GCSEs are not the be all and end all, and there's more things ahead of this, such as A levels, uni, whatever, to look forward to, and that matter more. So even if you feel like one subject didn't go as well as the other, or you feel like you might not be able to get into the subject that you wanted to at A-level originally, think of whatever, but don't stress as if it's the end of the world because it honestly isn't. It might seem like that because you're in year 11 right now, but after this, A-levels are going to be much tougher. And also remember, there's only a few weeks left until GCSEs finish, I think three or four max. And after that, you have a 10-week summer to look forward to. In that summer, you can do whatever you want, have loads of fun, go out with your friends, whatever. And yeah, it's going to be so much fun. So it's just one big fun push until Jesus is finished and then after that you're done and you're free. One thing you should definitely do if you are getting a bit restless during this exam season is try and make a list of the things you want to get done and do in summer and that way you have something to look forward to, a bit of a bucket list in a sense and then you can read that through or add things to it anytime you're feeling a bit bored or unmotivated and you'll know that after you do the papers then there'll be all these things that you have to look forward to that you've written on your list or whatever. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did please like, share, comment and subscribe to support the channel and yeah good luck with all the papers that you have left and just remember summer is coming 10 weeks of absolute bliss in which you can relax sleep and do whatever and so one big final push and you'll be done but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week with a brand new one bye for now